Hello everyone, welcome to Manocha Academy. Today in this video, I am going to teach you how to draw the diagram of the female reproductive system. The diagram does not seem very difficult, but most of the times we do not get the proportions right. So I will show you exactly how you can measure and draw the diagram so that you get a perfectly proportionate diagram. Let's dive into the video and let's learn about the steps of drawing the female reproductive system correctly. So let us start with the diagram of the female reproductive system of human beings. As always, we will draw a reference line so that the diagram is proportionate and straight and it's not tilted at on one side. So what I will do is I will be taking I will be drawing the diagram on one side of the page. So I will be taking a, a, a line which is around 12 centimeters in length. That will be the overall size, the total size length of the diagram. And for the shape of the uterus, which is the most difficult to get, get and, and usually gets disproportionate, on the upper part, which is the widest part of the uterus, I will draw a line which is 3 centimeters on each side of this middle line okay? and round about just a little more than halfway. So if this, is, if this is halfway of this entire line, a little more than halfway somewhere here, I will draw a line which is 1 centimeter on each side. right? So what it means is that your uterus should be of this shape not straight we will not join it straight but I'll show you how to join it but that should be the length and the breadth of the uterus on uh, overall okay so now we start drawing so how will we draw first and foremost I will draw a structure like this an umbrella shaped part just above the 3 centimeter 3 centimeter line that we have drawn so I'll draw an umbrella shaped part here and just from the end of these two uh, so from the end of here I will bring it here from and from this corner I will bring it to the line that we have drawn so that gives us a shape of the uterus I will just make this a little clean so that gives us the shape of the uterus which is inverted pear shaped right remember if you remember the structure of the uterus it is inverted pear shaped now from here I will so from here, I have drawn one line. On the other side also, I'll draw one line and that gives us the shape of the vaginal tract. Okay, so the overall structure is done here. And then I will draw the horn shaped fallopian tube. So for that, we will curve it like this from the end. Make sure that the fallopian tube has similar diameter all over and then it ends in a funnel shaped part. So the two fallopian tubes are also done. So once this structure is done, now we will have to make the muscles and everything inside. So for that what I will do is, first I will erase the reference lines, line because now the reference line is not needed. Now that the diagram is drawn, the reference line is not needed. So I will delete the line and from here I will be drawing one line here. So this gives the upper part of the muscle. And this line will continue into the fallopian tube as a very narrow wall of the fallopian tube. So see, be a little patient, make sure that the two lines are parallel to each other and it is not that at one part it is very wide, another part it is very narrow and that will give you a clean wall. Similarly, on this side, I get the wall of the fallopian tube. Okay. Now starting from here, I will have to draw a wall that comes almost near this. So I will start a wall, now the shape of the wall can be a little undulating, but remember that it should come here. So similarly on this side and these two walls come really close making a narrow tunnel like structure. This is the cervix because you need this narrow tunnel like structure. So you have to bring it close and then meet the wall. Again, from the two sides, I will just take this line, make the wall, I will continue the wall of the uterus into the wall of the fallopian tube. Similarly, in the vaginal tract, 
we will make muscles which should look undulating like this and then it ends here ok. Now, at the opening of the fallopian tube we will have to draw finger like projections like willy. So, we will draw these finger like projections similarly on the other side also we will draw finger like projections right. The only thing that is now left to draw is the ovary. So, I will draw the ovary here. Now, the ovary the, the uh, in this funnel shaped part fits into the ovary. So, you can draw the ovary like this and then attach the ovary with a few lines to the wall of the uterus. So, the ovary is done, the fallopian tubes are done, the diagram is basically done for us. Now, the only thing that is left is to label it. As I always tell you in my videos, you label the diagram on the right hand side. So, for that draw a line and then start labeling the diagrams from the top. Okay? So, we will be labeling the parts which are nearer, but we will make sure that we do not crisscross lines. So, these lines should not crisscross each other. right? So, I am labeling the three parts of the fallopian tube separately here and you see the lines are all parallel to each other labeling the uterus. Now, this part of the uterus is important and we will have to label it. So, it is better that we keep a space here so that we can label this part then the vaginal tract and finally the opening. Okay? So, let us label them one by one. So, this part is known as the isthmus of the fallopian tube. This part is known as the ampulla and this part is known as the infundibulum. So, once we have labeled these three, we will just put a bracket and label this as fallopian tube. Because these three are parts of the fallopian tube, the main structure is fallopian tube. So, we will put it in a bracket and write fallopian tube. Then these finger like projections, they are known as fimbri. Then we have the ovary here, uterus. This opening of the uterus is called the cervix. So, we will label the cervix separately. This is the vagina and finally, we have the genital opening or vaginal opening. Okay? So, that is the structure of the female reproductive system. Now, never forget a header or a footer which will tell you what diagram you have drawn. So, this is human female reproductive system. This is human female reproductive system and that is how you draw human female reproductive system with ease. So, that was all for today's video. I hope you liked the video and learned from it. Do visit our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy. Links are given below. We have courses for physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, AI and coding. Along with that, we have the newly added courses on NEET and IIT Foundation. You will get concept videos, live classes, quizzes, mock tests, questions and revision notes. So, they will be perfect for your exam preparation. Do hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of our videos. Let's stay connected with Manocha Academy. Let's learn together.